The virtual construction site in this overview is an immersive 3D environment containing gaming elements being developed by Gaia Technologies and construction lecturers at Group Landrithlo Menai. Paul Burton Jones gives a tour of the site and then highlights some of the individual elements that can be investigated by users. Okay, this is the new interface that we're currently using with this uh, 3D site. Uh, and we've listed all the trades individually um, so that we can go in to have a look at individual tasks, which we'll have a look at in a minute. In the old trades, uh, this is the entrance to the construction site, and there it is. Um, by going into here, we shall load, and there we go, straight into the reception. Uh, we thought coming into reception would be quite useful because from here this was where they would do their health and safety induction and we've got you see various um, uh, posters we have in the wall. One is the building team and there's an exercise there that students come in and uh, inspect each of those roles and find out what they do and uh, so forth. Well, well welcome to College Landreslo Menai uh, 3D construction site and here this site has been developed to give students a very visual image of what a construction site, a construction site will look like. It's, um, we try to do it so that we've got 11 plots in various stages of construction from marking out um, to the foundations going in, slabs being created and walls starting to go up and we've concentrated on uh, traditional building methods for this uh, part of, of the task which is uh, cavity wall. Um, but we can incorporate modern methods of construction as well. And on this side of the plot, we have some finished houses, again, which students can explore uh, and brings in some of the other trades as well. To make our 3D site a little bit more complete, um, not only do we have houses in various stages of construction, but over here we have the material storage. And here we have the office facilities, which again, it's important that students, to, to help with their employability skills, learn how a construction site operates and runs and they have this sort of mental image and, and that's the whole idea of having this 3D construction site. A house, typically what you've seen on the construction site, we've just taken one out of that uh, and what we're trying to do here is to show students some of the building services that would be incorporated in a normal house. So for water pipes let's have a look at uh, indirect plumbing which is um, a common, common one you can't see the pipes at the moment, but if I make the outside skin disappear, we can now start to see that the services uh, are there, and we can see the water coming in, it's coming up through the slab of the floor in the kitchen, straight up to a uh, water tank in the, in the attic, and from there it will be fed down to the appliances, and then we've got a, a hot water feed into uh, from the boiler back as well. Um, we could make that a direct plumbing one, so we're taking um, the water storage facility away if people want to use the attic. Um, we can also do something similar with the waste pipes and here you can see that it's also got the storm and foul water um, buried underneath the road pavement. Um, so again students can investigate that. We're also working on some calcs for there now to work out the right gradients for the pipes to make sure it all works correctly as well for the students. Uh, and we've done something similar with the gas pipes. Yep. One, of, one of the dangers working on site, particularly with heavy plant and excavators, obviously if you can see there's somebody there standing in the way and as this turns around in danger of being hit. Um, but one of the things that we've included in here is we, we've added this to our college Moodle page and we've created a construction wiki. And what the students have been doing here is some research on different types of excavators that we would use on a construction site. And so if I just log into our construction wiki, this has been put together by myself and the students where we've gone out and researched different types of excavators and looked specifically for uh, short clips on YouTube that we can incorporate and we've written a short piece um, to explain how each one works. And so here uh, we've put together a short sequence. This is a cavity wall but it's got a flat roof next to it. And one of the beauties of using a 3D site is that we can actually make it do whatever we want and have a look at different views. So here we can play a little bit of animation where the wall comes apart and we can actually show the process of construction and discuss the different materials um, that are involved in the construction process, what they do, what they're made of. Um, and I can take it back bit by bit if I so wish. I can slow it right down and just do uh, whatever I'd like it to do to the speed that the students are working at. Um, and we can have a, a good discussion of different materials, how it all comes together. Okay. One of the other things the bricklayers are very keen on doing was to explain the process um, of how they mark out on the ground, 
how the foundations are dug and how the bricks and the concrete all come together to make a typical strip foundation. So what's been created here, you can see in the first instance of uh, the area being marked out, uh, the foundation has now been dug and you can see concrete has started to be poured. And now we start the construction process. We're starting one of the corners, uh, the brickwork, the inner and outer walls have gone in with some insulation. Um, we've now put the slab in, and you can see the insulation in there. And from here we can start putting the, the DPC down and start building the walls up. Uh, and again in this one, this is, is good, it actually shows uh, the insulation going in as well. And uh, where the tie rods are going to be and uh, the, how they fit into the wall itself. Uh, and this was developed by the bricklaying students and the tutor. And again we can get various views uh, and have a look and discuss the construction process. And again we can take that back and uh, again there's maths being calculated or maths exercises being calculated for this at present so the students can work out the volumes of materials required and cost including labour, making out purchase orders, etc.